All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the sideboard. My name's Eric, and tonight we're going to be playing a little bit of modern. So, if you uh, like tonight's show, give us a thumbs up, and if you like the channel in general, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So, let me go ahead and jump straight into the deck here. As you know, most of you guys know, I am not huge into modern. So I am uh, kind of going to be relying on you guys to, to, to work me through Modern here. And uh, I think we can have a lot of fun with it. Tonight we are playing Boggles. Uh, if you tuned in earlier, the thumbnail wasn't correct yet. But I think I got that straightened out. Uh, looks like I need to fix the chat just a hair. What is up with that? We'll get this fixed here for you guys. I think that'll do it. There we go. No deck list on this one, so it'll. Uh... Let me just uh, kind of go over the the general theme here with this deck. Uh, this deck is basically an invisible stalker deck or uh, slippery boggles deck. The the deck uses hexproof as uh, which originally was like troll shroud. Um, I think I think. It's what most people called it. Uh, One-sided shroud. Um, had a lot of text. I'm glad they finally made it hexproof. But Bruce, welcome, welcome. And we're just going to play a little bit of modern here. Uh, a little bit of a late start, so I'm not going to play around with uh, the deck tech too much. Plus, I'm not one to really be able to showcase these decks. Modern's just kind of like a playground, and I expect here in the near future, modern will be just, you know... Uh, a jank playground and I, I I think that's good I I would like to have some fun with some cards that are rotated out so uh, that doesn't mean we can't be competitive though I mean jank can still still uh, surprise people but for the most part we want to put down a creature that they can't interact with and then we want to interact with it as much as possible cards like totem armor and things like that can really allow us to really just make a huge dude get in for a lot of damage so uh, that is the the overall idea of the deck we can draw cards as we're playing all of these different enchantments but we have a ton of one mana enchantments and a few two mana enchantments here uh, actually just the uh, daybreak cornet but other than that we uh, we have uh, a huge, huge invisible stalker or something of that nature, and then we can just bash in there. So, uh, a lot of fun here. This should be absolutely terrific. And hey, William, welcome to the stream. So, uh, it should be a lot of fun. We should be able to get down an early creature and then just boost that up and come in for some really sick, sick damage. So, um... That is, well, we don't want to go to trade. We want to go to the play lobby. And let's uh, kind of jump into some modern here. Message retracted. My bad, Mr. William. My bad. All right. So, do we have land? Yes, we can go get that. We can just play the Sea Chrome Coast, play Boggles. Uh, what are we doing with Boggle? Man, we've got some really good stuff. I kind of like this. We can come in with the uh, double white on two. I don't think we need the green right now. Is there even green in this deck? All right. Hey, Rich, welcome to the stream. I'm going to keep this. This looks terrific. <clears throat> and he's going to Thought Seize this on one. Okay, well. That's horrible. There goes Boggle. Well, I guess it's not as good of a hand as I thought. Come on, Boggle off the top. No, not a boggle. Well, I think I'm going to just go ahead and play the fetch land then. That, I may miss sequence somewhere here. 
That's modern, yeah. Yeah, it's probably Death Shadow. Absolutely. I'm I'm not a hundred percent on you know the decks, but I have been looking into modern a little bit. I don't want to look like a complete fool in front of you guys, but maybe I am by keeping that that bad bad hand there. Um, like not sacking my my um. Uh, uh, no, we're we're not gonna be accepting challenges right now. Okay. So, uh, I don't really want to get in the habit of just, you know, uh, challenging while we're on stream. It uh, could easily lead into some extremely bad streams. You know, just where you, you get whooped because your opponent has perfect inter information all the time. So, that's, uh, well, doesn't he just get... Well, you get your Snapcaster Mage. So, I think we just counter the Thoughtseize here. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this. We don't have to bring in anything tap. Uh, what do we want here? Just another Hallowed Fountain. Just to have uh, good mana. No, we don't want to pay for that. We'll just spell pierce this. Ah, oh, another land. Okay. Okay. That's why I hate these decks. Not enough creatures. I. Is there a way you can play Boggles and like Grixis and have like Claim to Fame so you can get it back? <laughs> we don't even have removal here. I'm just gonna get beat down by a Snapcaster. Um, yeah, he gets a Snapcaster Mage. Uh, I'm gonna deny it. I think he really just wanted to play the... Oh, wow, really? Um, no. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much just dead here. I'm waiting on, there's a Street Wraith, okay, I'm just waiting on like a, um, you know, Death Shadow here to finish us off a little bit quicker, but four at a time is enough, we don't have any interaction, without a creature we can't really do much, at this point he's got a counter, really need something like Invisible Stalker off the top, I'm gonna go ahead and play it out, but Made it past turn four, that's something. Yeah, well. We didn't make it past turn one. This game was over on turn one. He goes, Thoughtseize took our only creature, and this game was over. From here, we've just kind of... See, <laughs> we're just playing with it. He played a Snapcaster Mage just to speed it up. Yeah. Take whatever you want, buddy. Only reason I countered earlier is because he would have just took the counter. I, I guess here he just takes an ethereal armor or something, really. Hyena armor. Yeah, I guess. Isn't gonna matter much. We would need one heck of a card off the top here. I don't even know. What do we have in the sideboard? Like, invisible stalker. Alright, so what can we do? I mean, it's not like we're gonna give him haste here. So what do we what do we got? Um, wow, do I just kill their dude? Is that a thing? No, it, no, it wouldn't kill it quick at all. Okay, so. 
let's just go ahead and play ethereal armor play again I mean we're pretty dead here but maybe not completely It is. It is total bull. Ah, all right. Well, he's not going to be able to path this, but uh, I don't know what we have on the sideboard. Uh, he doesn't run path anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and block one. Like... Does he have um, the, uh, what's, it, what's it called, Invigorating Rampage? We win. Yeah, he realized he swung out, and we just swing back for the, for the win here. Yep, that's how that works. Wow. Wow. Really? I mean, come on. Hey, Max. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so what do we bring in? We bring in the path. Of course we bring in path. What does this do? Uh, no. Nah. Um, maybe. I kind of like that. I kind of like the counter. Oh, man, that looks real, real good. I think that's what we bring in for Death Shadow. So what do we... What do we, uh... What do we take out here. Griff's Boon, not worried about flying. I mean, I get it. Griff's Boon's really good, but I'm not worried about flying. Solidarity could give me uh, another couple another, uh, couple extra bodies, but it's probably n not exactly what we're looking for. The draw card seems real good. Daybreak Cornet. First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, 3-3... Yeah, sure, we'll keep that. Um, target creature can't be blocked. Alright, so we need this for the Boggles. Or Enchanted Creature can't be blocked. Um, I'll cut one. I know it's a, a cheap enchantment. And we just brought in Ley Lines, but um, I think Ley Lines are really good here. Planes? Is there planes in the sideboard I should have? Is it really? No. Nah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Max. Max, you're kind of my kind of my go-to here. You're the one that's forced me into, um, you know, modern playground here. We do not have a creature. I'm gonna mulligan. I... <laughs> wow, what? Just, uh, we have a creature but no land. We'd get a ley line. We're mulligan again. Uh, all creatures. Let's roll. <laughs> it's probably bad. Uh, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Okay. The aura package? Just a ton of one mana auras. So. Wow, you people just really don't like modern. It's like, uh, it's like nobody cares about modern boggles. Yeah, you play it for free, but I had zero lands. What else am I going to play? I get it, and then then what? Like, I, I wasn't going to keep a zero land hand. I don't care if I do get to play Leyline for free. Oh, well. Let's just get down our boggle. I mean, he didn't have turn one. Um, 
thoughts these anyway. I'm probably gonna get like an Inquisition or something, but whatever. Man, he is, he's aggressively, aggressively uh, killing himself. I, I mean, he's got to have a, a death shadow, right? So what do we draw this turn? Stubborn denial. Well, that's not great, but, you know, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll play our boggle. Maybe I should have hung on to the other one, but I think it's honestly against this deck. I think it's safer on the battlefield. Maybe I could be wrong. I mean, he might have um, some type of red board sweeper, but he didn't go get red, so I don't, I'm not putting him on that. Plenty of life, plenty of life. There's the red. Wow. Down to four. What does he got? Oh, Grimog Angler. That's a thing. Well, we can't counter it. Okay, well, does he start getting it sideways? What happens here? What do we do? Ooh, that's not great. Is it? Maybe? He's still got to start swinging. We can wait. Redil, Core Light. Let's see, Crew Fix, Mikea, Doc, Crispy, Max. Oh, I'm sure I missed a bunch of you guys. I am doing good. I'm waiting on this dude to start trying to swing at me for five, and then I'm going to start swinging back at him for two. Uh, we're going to definitely see if we can... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Snapcaster Mage here or something like that. I mean, we're swinging. Got a swing. Of course he's got snap, but... No blocks. Okay, well... What has he got? Koslik's return. Well, thank goodness we have something we can counter. Whew. I was worried it was going to be like Pyroclasm, and he would have two mana. But what do I know? I don't know what's getting played in modern. Um... <sighs> Dude, I, I really just don't want to get in the habit of playing against the streamers. I'd be, more, I'd be more than happy to, like, play your modern deck. But I just really don't like playing against the streamers on stream. From the way I understand it, you can uh, really get into a habit of getting, um, getting, like, I mean, when they know perfect information, you'll get into a habit of just losing nonstop. Um, I, I know that people try to try to catch me anyway. I mean, uh, I get it. It's cool to play against the streamer, but... Oh, wow. Alright, so... Definitely gonna make one of them... Or try to make one of them big here. Um... Not... Okay, so he's, he's going to Stubborn Denial. Yeah, okay. Well, that happens. Do we swing or do we wait? I mean, if we put him at one, we turn off like... I mean, he, he's... Scalding Tarn's turned off right now anyway. Um... Wow. To swing or not to swing? We sting in, swing into Snapcaster Mage. Um, that would be horrible. I don't think we swing. I think he's still on a, on a situation where he has to... Yeah, this deck's 200 bucks online. 
But uh, I think we're in a situation where he has to... Um, I just wait. Ooh, so he does have the Snapcaster. Why would he fire that off? What does he need? <clears throat> Needs to be able to leave up enough mana to fire off uh, his uh, Tassiger. Is he daring me to swing at him? No way. Uh, I, I assume he's delving here. I assume that's what we're waiting on. Welcome to Modern. Yeah. Um, there's another one with a second Gurmog Angler. He tapped out, though. I am 100% trying to put this on the stack. Oh, it's non-creature spell. What? Uh, well, that is just horrible. Well, we need something. Something decent here. It's not it, but I'm going to play the ley line. Yes, why not? Let's give ourselves Hexproof. We are still in a stalemate against our opponent. He can't swing until he has another blocker. We can't swing until... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, what? No, we don't need it. Uh, so we're both just uh, trying to either get into blockers or... Um, big bodies here. So I, I'm still putting him on having Snapcaster Mage, so I actually need to be able to outgrow him or get an Invisible Stalker. Invisible Stalker would be really good. Uh, he exiled his Counterspell. Um... <laughs> and that's game Invisible Stalker Yeah, called it, off the top Woo um, <laughs> Yeah, he was flooding Yeah, I, hey, we were flooding too Yeah Um. Wow, that was pretty good Just Beat Death Shadow there with an Invisible Stalker. That's my cult action coming in there, Max. Right? Yeah. Join the clan and you can call top decks too. Uh. Oh, well, somebody else already got this game. Let's get into another one here. We'll just hit play. Marzilla! <laughs> if that's how you wanna, if that's how you wanna use your your stream support, I I, I cannot say no to that. Um, yeah, I I don't want to say you know I don't want to say that, but there's uh, an offer on Patreon if people want a guaranteed stream time. There's an offer there. Uh, we're gonna mulligan this for no lands. I don't know what I'm looking at. Ay ay ay. I it, it's really risky. I don't know what we're playing against. We th I mean this is not the enchantment we're looking for with this creature. Uh, this is, however. That is definitely the enchantment we're looking for. So is this So all of this is good. We just don't We did mulligan already. I'm keeping. We're going to do it. 18 lands, whatever. Put that on the bottom. Oh, we'll see what happens. We just need turn two invisible stalker, and then build him up. Um, 
It's probably going to end up bad for us. We don't hit a land. Last last land game we flooded, so. Thought Scour. Serum Visions. Island. What? I want to say it's like Death Shadow, but that would have been Pain Land, Pain Land. Like, there's not... No, it's not Death Shadow. There's not that many basics in Death Shadow. Ah! No! No, deck! Alright, alright. You give me a win off the top, now you're like... I should have trusted with Mulligan. But we had everything. Everything. We've got it all. Well, let's get this countered. Here we go. He counters this. is probably game. What do we got? What do we got, opponent? I do not know what he's casting. Ah, okay. Yeah, logic not. So this is, um, what is this, Storm? Yeah. Okay. Can't believe I had to see a logic not to realize this was Storm. It. Is there a... It's not Storm, then. Storm would... We'd have been dead if this was Storm. So dead. <clears throat> Good evening, Sean. Uh, what is this? Yeah, Desolate Lighthouse. That's pretty good. Stillwater Cliffs? Okay, I'm no longer gonna even try to try to know what this is then. I guess it's our. Um, is it control? I I'll just get a fountain in untapped, and we will attempt to cast another creature. Gotta get that creature down. Okay, well, um, we're going to attempt to cartouche it. Lightning bolt. And, yes, we would love to draw another card. We need it. And the cartouche has nothing, nothing to hit, so... All right, well... At least we got to draw a card. Yep. Let's see what happens here. Serum Visions. It might be Storm, but man, wouldn't Storm have like killed us a long time ago? I mean, I haven't seen a single Pyro. I haven't seen anything, and I just, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about modern, but um, we're definitely going to try to slip down a boggle. Boggle down. Uh, what do we want first? Yeah, we'll go with um, Ethereal Armor. I am willing to lose Aquarius form here, so I'm going to try to cast it now. I don't think it's a good idea to try to um, um, put unstable mun munition on a creature that summons sick. Cool. Alright. So we'll just pass here and see what he does. Alright, so he's going to draw. Let's 
So I'm looking at this turn. Daybreak Cornet and are we expecting Snapcaster Mage here? I mean, we did see Cliffwater Cliffs or Swiftwater Cliffs. Does that get play in modern for some reason? I mean, it's just a land. It's not even the non-basic types. Hey, Mark. A land. All right. Well. Okay. So. Let's go with uh, the cornet. I like the cornet here. Did I tap the wrong type of mana? I did not. Thought scour. Okay. So, just gonna go for a large hit here. Don't think there's a one mana red spell that can deal with uh, a our 10 10 and this is boggles <laughs> that's what boggles is supposed to be about right there and uh, we're at 27 that's gonna be hard to combo off on electrolyze all right well uh, he either answers this or scoops it up, and we have the uh, Aquarius form with, at this point, well, not enough now, but almost enough to make it through. Oh, he's trying to take infinite turns here or something, take multiple turns, cast big stuff. All right, never mind. This can't be a modern deck. Um, Metallurgic summings, that can't be, that can't be a modern deck, right? I I had Gatekeeper of Malakir in my um, um, other deck, my Warriors deck. Uh, originally I had it in the main board, but so I don't know what to bring in against um, this deck. Um, Mindbreak Trap, maybe. S Maybe spell pierce. Maybe we just run it back. We just. What do you got, opponent? Just. Uh, I'll bring in. I'll bring a disenchant. And never mind. Yeah, I, I'm not. This is like sitting down with a tier one deck in front of a. In front of a kid at you know at the magic shop and just going, ah, I'm gonna crush you. Yeah, it feels good, but you know you don't want to do that. Um. We've got multiple invisible stalkers. Definitely going to put him on having, having to have the counter. Uh, I like it. I like it. So, do we want to, like, stop him in the beginning? Or do we just want to keep this spell pierce? Like, I just, I'm just curious, so if I... Do we want to thin the deck now? We want to hit that third land so that we can play the invisible stalker. Nah, I'm going to keep... Uh, hundred percent, but I think we just go ahead and thin the deck. He can't tap out on two. He taps out on two, it's over. So, I mean, I could just play this in tapped, but I mean, yeah, I could just play this in tapped. I'd rather play this. Come on, I actually wouldn't mind a land. Alright, well, we know we're going to want double blue, double. Double blue, double white, so alright. We're taking some damage here. I don't think it matters here against this, like, control style deck. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get our hollow fountain. And no, we won't pay for it. Ooh, another Stalker. So, yeah, we're just going to start slamming Stalkers. I'm not going to actually play a bunch of them down at the same time. 
You got it, buddy. All right, pass. So hopefully we'll get one of them to stick. If we get one of these to stick before we've used all of them, oh, he's looking for land, uh, then we will 100% uh, like just hold on to the last one. Just, just make him kill one at a time. Especially since we can get a, a hyena umbra on it. Land. Come on, land. Oh, that is a land. Let's go ahead and play that. I will play the stalker. Not interested in tapping out this turn. Ooh, man, I'm glad I'm good at magic. Oh, man, this feels so good. Ah, oh, yeah. Just crushing the little kid at the at the magic shop. That's that's horrible. Horrible. Oh, he probably could have countered. Ah. Oh. Well. Unfortunately, it looks like we're probably going to get all of this down. Sorry for you, kid. we hang on to another enchantment or nah no point right I have to go get another sack land though which you know kind of hurts but we've got lifelink and now we should be well out of anger of the gods range All right. Um, yeah, this. I. I mean, he can. I'm sure he's got something, but man, that's that's just brutal, brutal. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like there's some chat I need to catch up on. Let's see what what just happened here. Um. Gatekeeper. Uh, well, I, I read the gatekeeper. Maybe he's taking turns. Yeah, it didn't matter what he was doing. It was, it was right. It was just a. It, the lands were horrible, so you know the deck was kind of horrible. But <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, that was pretty bad. When yeah, that's pretty bad. Well. All right, let's um, let's get, let's get back into another game here. Well, you can really get through some modern games, can't you? Yeah, that I I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but at least we get to see what what happened, like what the deck does. Sure, we will draw. We'll draw some stuff to put on it. Right? Going is he going to four? He's at five. Can you guys see that? Let me fix this. I think that's better. Mulligan's to five, keeps his hand. Okay. Alright. Okay, we will We've got three lands. I'm thinning, thinning from land. Got the one island in the deck. Enlightened Temple? What? What? <laughs> this is modern. Ugh. Whatever. They're not playing fair if they're not taking a half a dozen points. Of damage from their lands. It's just not right. You take your damage. 
Ooh, what does this do? Ooh, flood protection. I like flood protection. Modern's just a playground for me, you know? You just kind of like, it, there's just so much, so much to do. It's like, ooh, what do I get to play with here? What do you got here? I like it. Alright, so we might run into Supreme Will if this is some kind of control deck or something like that. Um, not Supreme Will, but uh, what is it? Supreme Verdict. Or is it Day of Judgment? Which one's, which one's played? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Supreme Verdict, so we can't counter it. Uh, this looks fine to me. We don't have a lot going on, so uh, I'm just going to buff up our little stalker here. Okay, so it's a way to take life if we needed to, I guess. I, I just like it here because we have uh, some uh, some control up, and then if we need need to, we can, uh, we can, well, I'm actually planning on just sacking it in it, I'm turn, no lie, I just want to, I just want to draw cards, need more things to put on this little fella to make him bigger, so yeah, we're, uh, we're just going to sack it, draw a card, I like that, that seems like a good interaction, right, see, this is modern worthy right here, I don't know, he's got a celestial colonnade, that's, uh, that's, that's a real modern card right there. Ooh, okay. What hurts having it on that? It doesn't. It? I. Yeah, sure. Is this a counter spell? Nah, mate. Yep, and this should, um, how's the math work out here if we get nothing else? So we've got, we'll be hitting for four next turn, take him to seven. Oh, really? Are you really going to do it? You're tapping out on your turn. Okay, so we take him to seven, um, and then we'll be hitting for three the next turn, which will take him to four, two... Oh man, it just keeps, it'll half-life itself to death. We, we have to draw something in the next couple turns, of course. It's a, it actually gets, if we don't add anything else to this, it's a lot more than that. But, I think that if we um, hit the right spell, we might be able to do something here. Is there anything that lets us draw car, a dr card when we play it? What are you doing? This isn't, this deck isn't fair. All of these counter spells, they're just so perfect. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game over, dude. Game over. Um, okay. What do you, we, we even know what we're playing against? He's got a mana leak. He had mana leak. Um, I like spell pierce. I really like spell pierce. So let's say we gotta go into this long, drawn-out swing. I think Unstable Munitions is actually one of the few... I don't know, that's, that card's great, isn't it? Man, isn't that card great? I don't think he's gonna have a lot of blockers. I think this is our cuttable. Um, does this save us through a... If it would be destroyed and stand, remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. So this saves us through a board wipe. We think we need to get into the air. What else would I want to bring in? Um, no. I didn't see any artifacts. I had to read it again. I had to think about it. Let's let's say disenchant, just in case. Yeah, let's run it back like that. Well, I had to read it. I had to read it. Give me a, give me a minute. It, hey, I, 
I just sleeve this deck up. I, who submitted this on the Reddit? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I like the deck. I have most of these lands. I wonder how much I wonder how much the parts cost without the lands. I probably even have these laying around. Uh, this is like, like these are commons, uncommon. I know I've got these. Okay, Temple. Hey, Scry. Hey, thanks for the subscribe. Uh, got pig. Or got big. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got big. Thanks. Was that a... Let's see. This is your this is your craziness here, Max? Okay. Well, that makes more sense. Okay. I don't want to draw any more land. So I'm going to go ahead and thin the deck. I don't care. We give... Zero. Zero to give, guys. You guys better be able to fill that in. Christian, Christian, thank you. Whoa, wait a minute. I think somebody just subscribed, like, hit me up on Patreon. Is that what that was? The zombie? You're running for it, going for everything. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that... That really means you, uh, you either the want the service or you really want to support the channel, and I, I appreciate that. So, all right. Oh man, the the deck is super fun. I'm enjoying what it's doing here. Uh, let's go ahead and play that down because we're running out of time on it. Um. Do we want to just get back at Griff's Boon here? I mean, like, just play something into his counter? Like, I, I'm totally okay with just playing into his counter this turn. I mean, we're only going to get a, a plus one on it anyway. Oh, wait. Can't do that. So let's hit cancel. Undo white. There we go. <clears throat> I'm just going to throw both Griff Spoon here. I don't think there's a three mana spell that we really need to... <laughs> Perfect. Never mind. Never mind. We get to play the good one. He just jumped straight into that. Wow. Is this what Modern's full of? Like, if I just play a high-powered deck, do I get to play a whole bunch of... Uh... Like, did he just not give me respect of playing my bad spell first? Disrespectful opponent. Disrespectful. This is modern, dude. Maybe I have too much for the modern format. Maybe I've got the modern format just set up on this pedestal of just greatness. We want to... I want... Detention Sphere. Um... Okay. Is this read some funny way? Is he going to get me? No, he's just going to get my hyena armor. Cool. Yeah, I'm not really worried about just the hyena armor here. So, we will go ahead and hyena again. I know, I know, probably should play this daybreak, but I'm going to go ahead and do these things. I don't want to risk too much, but I want to get more out there. I don't want to risk, like, more of these. Like, land this could be bad. Um, although this would have turned on Stubborn Denial. So, yeah, maybe it was just play this, hold up Stubborn Denial. Uh, would have been actually more damage instead of putting more permanents. Oh, that's good. All right, so... Alright, so he got it. That's... Man, that's... Yeah. that That's bad. So I should have played the Stubborn Denial. I mean, the, the Cornet last turn, so it would have turned it on. Um, we're going to keep trying it, though. 
All right. Woo. Got it online. Cool. Uh, that should be game. Yep. That's game. And that is modern. Better be competitive if you're going to bring it to the table. Uh, we're undefeated, man. Undefeated. Game 1, Death Shadow. Game 2, Jank. Game... I don't... We played Death Shadow. We beat Death Shadow. Can't really talk about anything else. Everything else was just... Really? You're playing Temples? That's cute. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm mean when I'm playing these older cards, but it's just... I, I just think of modern as this is where the big boys play not that and then the competitive like real competitive players play standard and then your everything else is EDH and stuff like I, that's just my opinion on the format and that's probably horrible but hey man we're gonna have like so like we're just gonna slam these things yeah I mean at least we get one through I, I can't say no to this hand well, we're going to get some bodies. At least we got a little bit of pump to put on it. So, I mean, I can't say no to it. <laughs> That's stupid good, man. I mean, this, this thing's good. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, it's it's hard to find, you know, people who make, you know, good plays and things like that, man. We can't do anything about this. This Noble High Arc's here. That is here to play. Uh, I guess I took a, a additional damage I didn't have to. I'm so used to just taking it. Um, I, I definitely need to fix that mentality. Get back into the Sacklands thing. Could have brought that in. Uh, different way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get down the stalker here. Yeah, I probably could have gotten down like a uh, boggles and then cartouche or something like that, but uh, I'm just gonna go for a stalker and we'll go for as much as possible here. Enters the battlefield return. Oh, that's pretty. That's cute. Well, okay. I'm not gonna really laugh at Tyrus Tracker though. Like, that's hard to laugh at. Tireless Tracker ain't no joke. Okay, we just get big. We can afford to lose this first one here. And I'm going to save the boon for the boggles. And I'm going to keep a blocker just in case. So now we're clocking him. Gotta love some boggles. Man, this dude just tore life up in Innistrad in uh, draft. Wasn't, wasn't that great in any of the other decks, but he was also really... Oh, man, he was also really good in the, uh, the sword decks. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Oh, sort of feast and famine and things like that on this fella. Ooh, that was that was fun. Good times. So he's gonna swing five at us. What do we do about this? Do we just chump it? I mean, we can just chump it and keep our life total nice and high here. I don't see any reason not to. Hopefully we'll draw... That's more chump. Yeah. We could boggles cartouche. That'd be first strike. That ain't gonna do us much good unless we could buff it. Let's just get in. Let's just kill this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep keep putting enchantments here. Uh, definitely think it's uh, time to put a hyena on this thing. It's starting to get uh, valuable. So uh, definitely want a hyena at this point. And all right, so 
next... If he doesn't put lethal on us right here, next turn we just grip... Griff's... <laughs> Griff's boon the uh, warrior token. Swing lethal. Uh, it depends on what he does. I mean, if he taps out here. Okay. Well, you're you're definitely making trackers. Crack another one. Ooh, Knight of the Reliquary. Man, ain't that sexy? Is that lethal? Is it lethal? Doesn't look lethal. Not lethal. And a Birds of Paradise. He got me, guys. He got me. He's a flyer. All right. All right. So now we got to put out blockers. Got to put out blockers now. So... What do we do here? I know we're swinging with this. He's not going to be getting exalted triggers here because he's swinging with multiples. I think we just go bottles. Oh, he may have me. He may have me here. We're at seven. Go ahead and play the the boon. Uh, all right, he's at two, so we'll see what happens here. I think we can survive. We have to put up blockers for. Ooh. Yeah. If he has removal for our warrior token, then we're we're done. Which he. Probably has war removal. It's going to be our first loss. It's not over yet, though. He's still got to get some damage in. What do you got, opponent? Man, he's going to be able to crank these up for a lot of damage. I hope he just, like, cracks clue, cracks clue, swing. But I don't think he's going to do that. I mean, if he doesn't have an answer, though, he has to, like, crack a clue or do something. Um, but he has to have removal. Does he have removal is the question. Like, all right, Field of Ruin. Oh, okay. Oh, no. What happens here? What does this do? Well, I'm going to get the island. But what does this do? Is it too much damage? Can I not survive it? Okay. You have a ton of clues. Oh, I didn't see that. All right, yeah, we're dead. Just dead. Okay, well, can't do nothing about that, guys. Um, maybe I would have, maybe I should have not swung until I could make this thing large enough. Um, yeah, that's game though. He's got us. Woo, all right. So that's tireless trackers, huh? That's pretty good. I thought we had that for sure. Um, definitely want the path exiles. That's an activated ability, pay two sack, right? Can't sack a clue. I mean, is it, are we really thinking this deck is about clues, though? I, I don't think. I don't think this is what we're looking for. Uh, I think this deck is about lands. It's Maverick, right? Like, bounce lands. Bounce lands and trackers seem decent. Let's see here. 
What do we want to cut? We definitely need to get in the air if we have like boggles or something like that. First strike's good. Blockers are great. Ethereal armor. Man, getting through would be a thing, like needing this. But I think I think it's still our cuttable. I think one hyena armor. Isn't there an armor that gives you plus one, plus one for... Okay, this is it. This is the good one. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to cut one hyena armor. He may have board wipe, but I, I'm just going to go that route. As it... I, I mainly see that as a way to, you know, protect your creature. So, yes, we would love to play first. Let me get up turn one boggles and some stuff to put on it. I like it. I like it. All right, come on, Boggles. Let's get in here, little fella. I really couldn't tell you, Jan. I'm not a modern aficionado. Max, though, the one who submitted this, is in the uh, channel. And we're just going to play our slippery boggle and pass the turn. Another slippery boggle. Well, I'm going to buff one. And I'm going to play one. And we will pass the turn. Man, still got to be able to get through with this thing. Wow, okay. Uh, I'll get an island. Maybe I should have gotten the the other. Did I not swing? Oh my, I went straight through combat. Wow. Wow. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, well, I'm not worried about a... Should I be worried about a board wipe next turn? Maybe I should have been, but I also should have swung, so... Yep, that happens. That definitely happened. Yep. Another land. Cool. We do not need that. And we will swing this time. So we missed out on three points of damage. I, next turn he's going to have four, possibly even five mana available. I'm just going to hang on to what we got. No point in adding more to the board yet. This is one mana. We can throw it down later if we need to. Right, right, and that's the reason I actually cut down on the Umbras, was because I was less worried about a sweeper in this deck than I was some of the other things, um, so that was why I cut down on Umbra. But yeah, I, I am worried about sweepers, but we just have so many ways to deal with it. Like, here, this is a way that we can deal with a sweeper. Although, I assume he's running quite a bit of lands. The, um little package here. He's got the Jete Bane Slayer Angel. Well, ain't she a beaut. Can I even target her? Yeah, I can target her. Absolutely. Good old BSA. So, 
here I'm actually inclined to let this one go and work on work on this little fellow over here. I think the clock works out a little bit better if we do that. I mean, granted, we would have... Nah, I mean, we still only... We would have gotten one more point in this turn. But then started losing it next turn. Yeah. I, I just think it's better to be able to get through here without giving him blocks. Knight of the Reliquary. Temple. Temple? You can't sacrifice a temple. It is a planes force, though. I mean, you gotta give them credit on that. Okay. Just a few at a time. Just a few at a time. We got him on a clock, though. What does this do? Creature fairy, blue flash, protection from blue, return a force you control, untap target creature, activate this, whatever. Okay. It's probably really, really good and does some like crazy stuff and all kinds of other stuff, but. Looks to me like it just like swings for two. If you have a noble high arc out. Yeah. That's what it does. It swings for two. I actually like the... I, I If the other version of Boggles doesn't have these counter spells, then I, I don't know if I like the other version. Because th this... Our counter spell package has felt terrific. Absolutely terrific. It was just... Great. I'm going to go ahead and um, sack this here. If he gives me an opportunity. He, he might just like play BSA or something like that. And... Fauna Shaman? What? Aw. Is he going to start throwing away like Vengevine or something like that? Because that would be cool, right? Ah, oh, yeah. We can't allow another Bane Slayer. That would be bad. Life Link. So if we boons, Griff's boon this, is that a lethal? Man, it looks lethal. I don't know. I can't do math. He's at five. We play this. Swing five. Looks lethal. The pauper version is just like n not g no good lands. Is it, is it? What does this do? Sacrifice. A okay, he's going to go get a land. Is this tap tap can see? Dryad armor doesn't have flying. I'm trying to figure out why why he did it. I don't know. Oh, untapped target creature. Has he got some kind of combo going on here? There's something I need to worry about. Oh, the flying, the flying. Okay, cool. All right, that's what it is. All right, well, man, all right. That's what it was. Well, that's pretty cool. Wish there was an enchantment land. There's, there's artifact lands. Why isn't there an enchantment land I can go search up? Uh, yeah, all right. I don't think we're dead here, though. So I'm not playing the Slippery Boggle because I want... Is this sorcery? Oh, it's four mana. Really? Whatever. Has he got some kind of combo here? Is he, what is he going to go get? 
So far, this deck has like whoop, whooped us in game one, so maybe. Maybe. What a thing. Scavenging ooze. No, don't gain life. He's gonna. He's eating our boggle, not our boom. Okay. I'm so confused. Like, you can just bounce the forest. Untap this. I should have read that a little bit closer earlier. Alright. I really like that art. I don't know why. Another Knight of the Reliquary! He's gaining the life. All the life. Um, I don't understand not racing here. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and sack this. You just sacrifice a forester planes, go get any other land, put it on the battlefield. It's pretty good. It's not what we want. We're dead. Dead. This deck has killed us. Um Okay, so put up a couple blockers, I guess. Still got to get in. I can't believe we're drawing too many creatures. Like, that's crazy that we're drawing too many creatures. Uh, so we put him on must alpha swing this turn. Not must alpha swing. He has a scavenger ooze. He'll just eat the entire graveyard. Only the creatures, though. So there's not many creatures yet. There will be after he swings. Uh, have to block scavenging ooze. Have to block. So have to block scavenging ooze and a knight. What else gets through? Yikes. Alright. Got a block scavenging ooze and a knight. It just doesn't seem like that this deck has a lot of power, and then it just shows you a lot of power. I like I kinda like the what the opponent's got going on here. Is this the uh, deck that runs Jitte? Is this like what is it, Maverick? What it what is it called? We really need to hit an enchantment off the top. Engineered explosives. Well, that happened. <laughs> that straight happened. Well, we're dead. Because, because that's lethal. That's why we're dead. Well, we definitely got beat by whatever this deck is. It it put a whooping on us. It showed us who, what modern is. 
I think we got time for one more here. Yeah, we, we can do one more. Right, that board state was crazy. Now, that deck was... It had temples in it, too, so maybe I need to back off on the temples. Right? Like, let's reevaluate here. Maybe temples ain't, like... I don't know. It's still temple. I don't know. I don't know. That deck probably runs, like, all kinds of different lands, though. And a temple is a forest, so... Maybe that deck don't count for being a judge on what lands are good versus which isn't. That's right. I didn't say any. Do we have an opponent? Do we have an opponent? Ah, uh, we got a boggle. We can put things on it. Yeah, well, I'm keeping. I'll keep. Just don't be black. Don't take my boggle away. It's green. Okay. Hey, there we go. I'll play this one because it's free right now. And go boggle go. I think we just put this on and start crashing. Although I would rather... I don't know. This is the first strike ability. Lotus Cobra. Somebody's about to go off. So, I kind of just want to get down Boon and Ithril Armor here. I would have had to take the life here. I'm just going to go ahead and take the extra uh, life. Um, yes. Although, this would be... Are we worried about like something coming down with haste next turn? Nah. We're going to go ahead... Ithril. Yeah, I, I'm just going to stick to the plan here. We're going to go Ithril. Boom. And start doing some damage. Alright, so next turn we go plus three, four, five, six. Uh, we have a 10 3 next turn. Ten three next turn, okay. Uh, and we got backup creatures. I mean we don't have a an umbra, but uh, yes. So is I mean is this the same guy we were just playing? Double flying. <laughs> All right. He's like, nope, nope, we're not doing that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I think we have to just stay fast. I mean, we Path to Exile is like the only sideboard card we really have against him. He's not playing a bunch of spells. He's moving a bunch of lands. So... I like the Grip Spoon. Although, this is probably better than Grip Spoon. What else do we take out? S probably Spell Pierce, right? Don't we have a main board copy of Spell Pierce? Yeah, let's take out the Spell Pierce. S we, we really need to get the Stubborn Denial online. Cartouche, maybe? Just cut one cartouche, cut maybe uh, one core dancer. Does he even have removal left at this point? Or is his removal just kind of built in? Yeah, Blessed Alliance. Alright. So, Blessed Alliance means we have to keep the Hyena armor. Wait a minute. Sacrifice? That won't save us through sacrifice, will it? So that means we kind of need the cartouche. I'm so confused. Yeah, we're going to take out a core. Sounds bad, but I don't see anything else I really want to cut. 
Bliss in the Last is a really good card. Does that get modern play? Like, I like just quit playing it when everything rotated. Uh, the black one was good too. What was that card? Um, I can't I can't remember what it is, but it had a lot of good abilities. But the escalate on it, you just discard a card, so it was like really sweet. Ooh, ah, I like, I like. We get a we got double boggle, and some stuff to put on it. And even more land. Let's go ahead and get rid of the windswept heaved. And we'll say yes. And we'll go boggle. Come on, you slippery devil. Collective brutality. Yes, that is the one. So you actually think take out Stubborn Denial? Uh, I think I want to turn on Stubborn Denial. The quicker we can get Stubborn Denial turned on, the better I feel. And this is about as quick as it gets. I don't see needing a blue here. I am going to quit taking damage. I guess it wouldn't matter. I'm about to swing. Um... Yeah, it don't matter. I'm going to swing. I get it back. So, we're going to cast this Daybreak Cornet. Oh, wait. has to have something else attached to it. Somebody told me that earlier, didn't they? They did. Somebody told me that. Do you want to trade? No trades? I shouldn't have swung. I should not have swung. Oh, first strike. Okay, all right, never mind. This thing's got more abilities than I can keep up with. More Lotus Cobra. Land. Make a million. Misty Rainforest. Another land. Oh, man. Baneslayer Angel on three. Right? Right, come on, Baneslayer on three. Let's go. I don't want to sit Baneslayer on three. I really don't. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be able to call your deck. That's bad. All right, that's bad. Did we just kill this. Bam, we got you. We'll kill you. Um, he's only got two cards left. I'm going to make that trade. Alright, so this works out kind of okay. I've got no reason to pay it, so I'm not going to. Um, so, right now, if we just get into a slug fest, he gains some back. Uh, I think next turn he's probably going to try to keep up Blessed Alliance, so I don't expect these two to tap down. Um, so if he tries to keep up Blessed Alliance, that uh, something we'll 100% have to play around. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. Ooh, one mana here. That hurts. That hurt bad. So he cracks this for one. Yeah, that's bad. Well, this deck definitely has the tools to beat Boggles. Like, we're on on track to just wreck face. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. $50 explosive. It, it, how much is that card? Gotta be. 
I don't even know this. I don't even know the format, but that's that's a good card. Three mana destroy all one drops. See, uh. And we can't even play it. What? No enchantment to put it on. Oh, and that I did not take the Ombras out. I did not take them out. Dying to the BSA beat down. Bane Slayer Angel. Many a many a player have died to this card. In a many a format. It's good to see it's still getting some play. That's crazy, though. Good old BSA. Well, that's not what we were looking for, ladies and gentlemen. We can live a turn. We can live a single turn, but I don't see a reason for it. This thing would get so big, so quick. Ah, I hate that I never got like never got to play that with this card, this game. Like, ah, uh, wasn't there? It was this card called like uh, Pure Steel Paladin or something like that? Um, man, that I think that was the deck. Pure Steel, Pure Steel Paladin. It's been so long, but man, that was it was a card. It was a deck in standard. They could throw out so many equipments on this thing so fast. But uh, that was on, not on this, but on uh, the Pure Steel Paladin. But. Dramoka's Command, fighting my dude, that's game. Alright, well, um, do we play, what do we play? Alright, so, let's say we take out. We don't take out anything. I, I guess we keep the... I'll take out a cartouche. Even though we could probably use the extra bodies, I'm just going to take out a cartouche. Who, BSA was hot? Or this chick? The core... All of the core, man. Have Look at them. Look. Stoneforge Mystic was a core. Nahiri. All, all beautiful, beautiful artwork. Of, a work of lovely female figures. All right. Did I did I uh, did I make it through that that statement in the proper way? I don't know. Probably not. Probably offended somebody somewhere. Um, we don't have a creature. We can't keep this. What do we got? Well, we've got creatures. Hey, we'll put that on top. So, Seachrome Coast Boggle. Maybe, well. So, next turn, do we play Invisible Stalker and start building that up? I kind of think that might be the better route, like build up the Invisible Stalker. But I can also just play tap land, enchant this. Next turn, play. Well, I don't want to. If I'm playing Invisible Stalker, I'm doing it this turn, and then next turn I'm putting everything on the Invisible Stalker. Oh, the questions, the questions. Let's just play this. We can make that land decision later. How much we get in for right right now? We get one, two, three. So we'll get in for four this turn. All right. Well, I guess that's what Boggles is all about. All right. 
say, well, we'll put him at 13 and pass. <laughs> Short haired, grungy looking ladies. Can you get a boggle pet? Them hands though, that's creepy. Oh, more lands. Oh man, he's just stacking the land up. This cobra doing work. Dryad Arbor. Blocker. Oh, he needs blockers. Thalia. Well, ain't you special. I don't have a non-creature spell. Yeah, this is safe. So, we just... Keep doing what we're doing. Eventually, he's going to have to start putting bodies in front of it. Um, stuck on one land. Man, that's, that's pretty... Oh, no, he's not. He's got more. He just wanted to get this first. He's, he's good at sequencing. I definitely have to say our opponent here can play his deck. I, I mean, he's made great... He's done good sequencing. He knows exactly what he's doing to get the most out of his mana. So, uh... You know, both games. You know, good to the opponent. I hate that we played the same deck two times in a row, but... Although, is this the same deck? Is this the same opponent? Because I haven't seen a single Noble High Arc. I haven't seen any... Um, ooh, wow. Wow, okay. So now he can just stick some Lotus Cobras in front of my dude and block probably shouldn't have done that now I can't stubborn denial well okay unfortunately that's the best I've got uh, because he can just like stick Lotus Cobra, Lotus Cobra here, block, they'll be indestructible, they'll kill. Yeah, we just can't do it. Wow, he's got so much mana. Yeah, this is the same deck, isn't it? There's the knight. I guess he did have the knight in the other one. This got so caught up in the other spells he was casting. Well, we're crashing in for two here. Um, we have him on a clock at least. It's a slow one, but it's a clock. I am going to sack this land. I can see him wanting to swing with this, but he needs to swing with this and something else. Otherwise, I just chump. Any enchantment that we can put on these will buff this dude, which makes it slightly more profitable, I guess. But he, he definitely needs to start looking at his race, his clock here. Uh, we're at 18, and um, I mean, yeah, he can put a lot of damage on, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Ah, uh, Elspeth. Miss Sprinkle, you will be missed. I don't know how to feel about that whole thing. I'm going to stop right there. That's a lot of land. I 
I thought Nahiri was the Stoneforge Mystic. Like, I don't know where the lore goes on Stoneforge Mystic, but if Stoneforge got banned for being in the greatest deck in standard ever, then right, wouldn't Settle the Wreckage be just awesome? But if Stoneforge Mystic just got banned for and then her spark ignited, you know. She was banished to another plane and it ignited ignited her spark. Banish her to modern. Okay, you got a billion mana. Too bad it'll be a creature. Yeah. Talarian Academy? Was it really? I don't know if I can say that that was the greatest deck. Wow. Alright. That's brutal. That is brutal. I, I still think I, I think Callblade. Callblade is up there as the greatest deck that has ever played in standard. Like it was seventy five percent of the meta, man. Like there was Callblade and decks built only to beat Callblade, which failed. Like I don't know, it it just people think <laughs> you think Teamer Energy's bad. Back then, you just didn't play if you didn't own Callblade, and then it was Callblade, and then everyone else that didn't own Callblade. And it was so bad that Callblade ran three Jace Bellerins because the best way to kill Jace was play Jace. Wow. Does this just put us at lethal next turn or something? Uh, let's see here. Wow, it would be a lot. We're going to. Take one here. Do we even need to? Let me count math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we're lethal either way. Might as well take it. Thin the deck. Make sure that we get like just whatever. We just need a good enchantment off the top. It's not going to do it, but... I paid the one mana. Oh yeah, it costs one more. Thaw ya. Uh, okay, well... Can I survive if I don't swing with this? Put him at two. I think I can. Would have loved to hit something with, uh, like, to make this thing grow a lot bigger, but it would have had to get huge. Huge. What? Can't cast it either. What are you bouncing? What does he bounce? What what does he bounce here? What? Yeah, bounce anything. Sure. There's no enter the battlefield triggers. I think it's still lethal here. I don't know if I can stop lethal. Haven't done all of the math yet. We'll see where his Gavany Township goes here. Yeah, Jace was like 100 bucks. Stoneforge Mystic was like 50. Batter Skull at the time was like 20 or 30 dollars. 
it was just it was ridiculous that was whew, that was a good time to, to play magic right yeah there's a ton of damage here all right so where do we attempt to block It's still just way too much, isn't it? And it's game! Well, so, blue, white, boggle. Maybe I should have like fixed the name. Like I didn't even realize blue white was something out of the un out of the norm for for boggles. But um, I do think it's funny that other streamers say they get their best streams when they play modern. But yet, like I I I just don't think I don't think modern's really where this stream is going. Um, I like standard. I like how standard rotates. I know a lot of people don't like how standard rotates, but I find that I can deal with a little bit of uh, staleness and stuff like that, but um, it's it's nostalgic to play modern, so I do enjoy playing modern. Uh, but it's uh, it's not where this channel is going, so we'll, we're definitely going to be keeping modern to one day a week. And since modern is only going to be one day a week, I definitely want to be having fun when we're playing it. So this deck was a ton of fun. Uh, it was a it was a blast. Uh, probably. Uh, I, I don't know if, if this is all of the best enchantments. Are there some other enchantments that you could have? What about splashing green for a couple of the nice green enchantments? I don't really know there. Uh, but I like the idea. I, I like the Boggles strategy, so that was a ton of fun. And then I don't know what you could do to the deck to make it stronger. I know that I kept wanting to take this out, uh, but I get you know why it's there. Um, I don't know. Uh, everything just felt really good. Felt really well tuned. Seemed to play pretty well. We didn't come up against Storm, so we really didn't need the Mind Break Trap or anything like that. Uh, Spell Pierce, terrific. I really loved having the counter. So, um, that was pretty good. I didn't like that Stubborn Denial couldn't counter a creature spell, though. I didn't realize that. So, that that's, uh, that's kind of a thing. Seems like the deck's actually weaker to creatures than it is anything else. So, um, no, uh, no, Royce. I actually stream when I'm streaming on uh, Twitch. I only time I stream on Twitch is when I'm deck testing or something like that. So, like if you join the clan. Speaking of which, if anyone wants to join the clan, I'm online. We'll take invites right now. But. Um, if uh, if you join the clan, like your games will probably be on Twitch and things like that. I stream a lot. I record a lot when we're just you know deck testing. Like this week, I was uh, I was streaming because uh, we were I was deck testing a deck that was just completely built around Glint Sleeve Siphoner. A little bit broken. I actually enjoyed that deck. It was pretty good. Uh, Fabrication module Glint Sleeve Siphoner is definitely a combo. Um, but anyway, yeah, the. Um, the only time I'm on Twitch is when I'm deck testing, so the rest of the time you can find the the live stream right here on YouTube. And if you need the replays, there they will also be here on YouTube. Currently, don't have a replay thing for the Twitch streams, but uh, that's that's about it for now. Now tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow will be. I gotta quit saying things three times, right? Yeah. Tomorrow will be uh, Tier Thursday. So we're going to try to play something uh, competitive. I don't know why I call it tier, but uh, competitive Thursday, if you will. So I'm definitely going to be trying to bring you uh, the most competitive deck that I possibly can for your Friday Night Magic. Now, there is it, there's a stipulation there because I'm not just going to slap Team or Energy in front of you. Uh, the most competitive deck that we don't already know about or play with. So uh, I'll try to make it something other than jank, but... 
that is going to be the show for tonight. So if you like the show, give us a thumbs up. And if you like the, the channel in general, go ahead and subscribe. It's been a lot of fun, guys. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Royce, thanks for joining the sideboard. We'll see you next time here on the sideboard.